Piancha. Come quad for the soul. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Suits know one spark's all it takes for Japan town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for your Nobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. 
The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. <laughs> you are not shit crazy. In front of a crowd? What about security? Or you need not to worry. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to scan this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. And? Two-bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. We'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saga scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. 
outside of Night City. The aircraft and thrusters were deactivated. Chill, Johnny. Isaka scum to you. I know that, but Goro's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? Fortunately, Kang surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional loss. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One. We break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two. During the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three. I get onto the float. Four. I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, Mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. It is ultimately to defend the well-being of my family. Cook! Louder! Louder! That is why I have decided to double the amount you know of that. our active In Night City security forces. President Myers has called this a he breach the in last the army of war. Between himself and targeted complete at the power. NUSA and NUSA. military. Surrender it to Tell me, me then. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know a little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Where's your Nobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Well, why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. 
Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar. Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Footbridge. But it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Pipes. Sam? We could use them to get inside. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there.
I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? So? Cat like any other. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacaneco. A bacaneco? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood, let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. Oh, and uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Slamming away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses? Attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? 
Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clipping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos, whether they're blood or not. Family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart, got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, getting worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do.
Come in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. activity.
floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly it to Tokyo if you want. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. V, the roof! That is your wheel! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Vicious act.
Five minutes. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her Stop ass. talking. I was... I was only gone an hour. How did this happen? I don't know. Told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I would just known, I'd have... Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. Northside, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. He'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. 
You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days, so... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? I don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. <laughs>